Okay. Um. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Okay. Thank you. How is it going? Uh, everything is good. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. So thank you, sir. Okay. So for today, we are going to talk about chapter one, uh, chapter four. There is a multiplication of whole numbers, fraction, and a mixed number. So especially, we are going to talk about lesson one. The learning outcomes is a student have ability to understand how identify pattern and use procedure in multiplication of whole numbers. Um, lesson one, multiplication of whole numbers by a fraction, isn't it? Okay, in this lesson, we are looking to multiply a fraction with a whole numbers and that will be easier if they were but a fraction. So the first we can write and the whole numbers as a fraction and a fraction stay as a fraction. Okay, example, this one. Find the value of two out of five times three or three times two out of five. Step by step. Step by step, how to fix it? There is two methods in here. Method one. First, write the whole numbers as a fraction with a denominator of one. So three equals three out of one. Okay, now multiply the numerator and the denominators, which is two out of five times three out of one. So multiply the top and you get an answer and multiply the bottom and you get an answer like this, two times three equals six. And then five, times one equal five. And then last, simplify that your final answer if needed. Since six out of six, six out of five is a greater than one, change into a mixed number. This is improper fraction that I uh, had told you before, it's so improper fraction. Improper fraction, so we have to simplify this. Six out of five equal one, one out of five. So two uh, out of six out of five times three equals one, one out of five. <laughs> there is method one, strike, strike uh, multiplication. Then how about, um, how about the method two? Okay, the method two, um, one thing that we can do uh, when we have a fraction, multiplying by, by a fraction is we can cross cancel. We can use a name we call a uh, cross cancel. This is method two. Method two, use cross cancel. Okay, let say we have a question like this six find the value of six times two out of um 12. so uh so the first we have to do is um make a whole numbers with a fraction and a fraction stay a fraction six becomes six out of one times two out of 12. It is uh, different with a method one that we had just um, uh, multiply the top and then multiply the bottom and have an answer and simplify. So this is the different. So this is uh, very different. So how about cross cancel? Cross cancel if uh, have a uh, Let's say divide it evenly. Um, um, okay, wait. Um, cross cancel. It is if uh, if the 
a number that uh, say divided evenly into both numbers on the diagonal, like this one, six and 12 have a common denominator have a common factor, which is six. So six divided by six equal one, and 12 uh, divided by six equal two. And yeah. however, and then however, uh, the other diagonal uh, two and one have a common uh, factor, which is one. So two uh, divided by one equal two, and one divided by one equal one and that will not change anything. So um, since, I did the, since I did that before multiplying, I'm actually going to get more smaller, this one. On the top, one times two, and then one times two. Okay, and then we, uh, we do a multiplication, numerator, one times two equal two, and one times two equal two. And then we have to simplify equal one. So there is the, this the answer. Turning, turning the whole numbers into a fraction and then multiplying just the whole, uh, just uh, we will, with a fraction while a cross canceling has made things a lot easier, I guess. Isn't it? So do you have understand? It, it will be fine if you uh, do also method one or method two. Method one or method two. This, it will be fine. Can, you can choose uh, one method that you have, um, that you have or things uh, that is easier. Thank you. Well.